Yeah, right. brand doesn't matter that much at certain level uh, you have to be brand conscious but after that what matters is the style and comfort so uh, i am not that brand conscious but yes i love to wear uh, most of the uh, indian brands i prefer a lot because i feel that we should promote the indian brands as we, as we can so yes i'm not that brand conscious seeing the recent uh, maggie controversy as such do you think being a brand now is a risky proposition koi bhi brand ko represent karne ka risk hota hai see uh, there is a responsibility comes along with the endorsement that when you are endorsing certain brand that uh, because you are a face of the brand then there is a responsibility but uh, you know this product noodle kind of products uh, so they are day to day product uh, one packet is done out of the marketing and uh, sorry one packet is done out of the manufacturing then if the company is changing the measurements of the masalas and uh, their uh, you know uh, ingredients so every time uh, the face of the brand the celebrity is not responsible for that you know so yes uh, there are certain responsibilities but after a point celebrities we cannot blame them for uh, whatever happened with the company do you think you are fortunate enough to get calendar girl you know mother bandar ke the national award yes of course and the most what fortunate comment on direction of mother bandar yeah, that is so much Well, uh, Madhu sir is a fantastic director. As I told earlier, that I keep on telling my friends and everybody that the the chance which other actresses got after the stardom to work with him, this the opportunity which I am getting on my debut film. So this is the best thing, and I feel that you know uh, working with him on my debut film made me a um, a uh, lot more experienced and lot lot many things we learn on set while working with him. And it's a lifetime achieve um, like lifetime really? achievement for me. And lifetime experience for any actress to work with. Him. So, can you share some shooting experience, like any any memorable moment? The, the entire process of shooting was uh, uh, very memorable. We went to Mauritius and uh, we had lot many difficulties because weather was not supporting us, and there were uh, so we had to shoot. We had very less time, and we are, we were in a uh, very uh, you know huge uh, locations that were there, and the team was very big. So yes, with all the difficulties and everything, we managed shooting and we tried our best. And we have visited the store. How do you like to see about the store? Best store, the better thing is they are coming up with the best thing. You know that they are into cleaning and repairing and storing the leather uh, outfits, leather bag, shoes, and everything. So especially in this uh, weather, this is the best service they can provide us. Thanks, ma'am. Thank you. Welcome. Well, in this store, it's very interesting because Presto, the I've already sent loads of uh, my dry cleaning to, um, but now they're doing shoes bags and uh, shoes bags का care हो रहा है यहाँ पे. So I think it's really important that people understand that leather goods, in, especially in the monsoon where we are looking wet right now because it's so humid, our leather products can get absolutely destroyed. And and I'm someone who's suffering from that. I may not wear some of my things that I wear um, on a regular basis. Like I wear my shoes once or twice in a month, or even in six months, but the shoe will get destroyed just lying there. So now there's um, a light at the end of the tunnel where I can go. Okay, I can send it here every six months, and I can keep my really expensive designer shoes that you spend so much money on, and you can make sure that they stay clean, fresh, and ready to wear whenever you need to. Can help your shoes to stay clean. I think a technique at the moment, what I've been told here, especially at Presto, is to uh, live clean. That's their motto, I think. And therefore, I think if you if you wear a shoe. 
clean it and put it away properly in an absorbent bag that will help the humidity to get away from your leather goods. This place also does leather um, cleaning for jackets and bags. Again, we spend so much money. I think a lot of ladies out there spend a lot of money on bags, especially the, the new bags, which are really expensive. So I think with those bags, if you, if you use them for a season and throw them, then it's fine. But if you're sending them down the line, if you're going up, up, Lelo, then I think what's going to happen is you're going to need to clean the bags. If you can clean the bags, then you can keep them forever. And then they can become, even if they're a limited edition, you can use them as a, as a very much like a, what's the word? A vintage bag, you know, after the season is gone. If it's clean, it's kept well in about, you know, six to eight months. If you bring it out again, you go, oh, yes, it's vintage now. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, and it gives you an opportunity to be ecological. I think the, the, I think the main answer here is to be ecological because I think a lot of people think about fashion, but I don't think that's correct. I don't think fashion should be like that because we live in a world now where we have global warming. We have a lot of issues happening. We can see the floods happening in, uh, in Mumbai every year. I think we need to start wearing clothes more, you know, Rather than going, I think it's a really bad idea. In fact, this shirt I've used probably four or five times in different ways and different looks and no one's going to go, oh, that's the same shirt you wore. But that's, not, that's about being economical and ecological with your clothes. And I think this uh, Presto and uh, Zapato is helping us to do that with our bags and shoes and leather goods. So this is your new rough look. So how My new rough look. Okay, so it's looking good for you. So how do you get this? Someone How did I get this did, new rough look? No, no, nothing like that. My new look is to do with, uh, just I'm someone who likes to reinvent and look at the way I, I look and uh, I grew my beard and cut my hair. I thought maybe I'll have a different shape, a different look. I've been working out a lot um, and in fact I'm doing a, a fat to fit story. I'm feeling a little bit uh, on the fatter side so I want to become fit. So you guys can actually watch me on uh, I Am Bija Andy uh, on YouTube as well. And I'm going to be putting up all of it. I want to do a full transformation and I want everyone to be a part of it. The last is the talk of the town, the yoga day is going to come. So last message to the viewers. Yes, uh, it's a world yoga day and I think it's a really important day. I'm someone who does pranayam on a regular basis. I'm someone who also uh, practiced uh, Ashtang yoga when I was at dance school for many years. Um, and I think that what yoga does is it changes your life. It changes the way you look at and perceive your own life and your own thoughts. Um, meditation is something that's also a part of yoga, which also helps me. I'm a little bit of a brand conscious. I don't know, I'm not a lot of brand conscious. But yes, I have some things that are branded and I have a lot of things that I have to do with my heart. Because it's very expensive, brother. Yes. There was a Maggie controversy about branding, or a brand to represent a brand, how much risk is for an individual? Look, to be very honest, I... हाँ मैं मैं इसके अगेंस्ट बिल्कुल नहीं मुझे मुझे बहुत ही स्टुपिड लगा था जब सेलेब्रिटीज को पकड़ा गया था कि आपने ब्रांड को एंडोस किया और ब्रांड में तो सत्रह सत्रह प्रतिशत सेवेंटीन परसेंट लेड पाया गया अब हमें बताइए कि हम सेलेब्रिटीज हैं हमारे पास काम आता है अगर हमें हमें कोई कहता है कि आप ये ब्र अगर मैगी जैसा ब्रांड अगर मेरे पास या किसी और एक्टर के पास आता जब तक ये पता नहीं था लोगों को कि उसमें इतनी ज़्यादा मात्रा में लेट पाया गया तो तब तक तो हमारे लिए मैगी वो है जो हम बचपन से खाते आ रहे हैं तो हमारे लिए तो मैगी चलिए हम रोज़ खा रोज़ मरा की ज़िंदगी में खाते हैं तो अगर एज अ सेलिब्रिटी हमारा काम है किसी चीज़ को एंडोस करना अगर हमारे पास कोई प्रोडक्ट आ रहा है एंडोसमेंट के लिए तो हम क्यों नहीं करेंगे सो आई थिंक किसी अब ये जानने के बाद कि उसमें इतनी ज़्यादा मात्रा में लेड है उसके बाद अगर कोई उसे एंडोस करता है तो समझ में आता है कि गलत है लेकिन उस चीज़ के बारे में ना पता होना क्योंकि हमारी दिस इज़ नॉट आर जॉब टू गेट इनटू द थिंग्स कि उसमें क्या है क्या नहीं किस क्या जहर है क्या है क्या नहीं वी डोंट रिली नो दैट वो वो हमें पता नहीं होता सो आई थिंक जब तक नहीं पता और अगर किसी ने किया तो ये उनकी कोई गलती नहीं दिस नॉट रियली इट्स नॉट रियली आई वुडन से यू शुड रिली गो अगेंस्ट द सेलेब्रिटीज बट हाँ अगर ऐसा कुछ पता होने के बाद अगर आप ऐसी कोई ब्रांड एंडोस करते हैं दैट्स नॉट द कूलेस्ट थिंग जब आपने जपैटो अभी अभी विजिट किया तो कैसा yeah. लग रहा है कि क्लेनलीनेस की तरफ कितना इम्पोर्टेंट है यार मैं क्लेनलीनेस से तो ज़्यादा मैं बताऊँगा जपैटो इज़ यार ये पैसा बचत वाली ब्रांड है मतलब आपके पास अगर लाख लाख डेढ़ लाख रुपये की चीज़ें हैं और अगर आप सोचते हैं कि यार यार इस, इसका ये थोड़ा सा धागा निकल गया है इसका ये थोड़ा सा कलर लग गया है कुछ हो गया तो इसको साइड में रख दो हम पहन के नहीं जाते अजीब लगता है भाई इधर आ जाओ तुम लोग को साफ सफाई करके दे देंगे इस यू नो अपने अपने उसमें रहो आई थिंक इट्स 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 अ गुड इट्स अ गुड थिंग कि जोमेटो जैसी शूज़ एंड बैग केयर विच इज़ विच इज़ नाउ अवेलेबल फॉर इंडियंस इज बिकॉज अब हमारी जितनी भी महंगी शूज़ और एक्सेसरीज हैं उनको साफ सफाई करके वापस 
यूज़ किया जाता है ना कि अगर ज़रा से भी गंदे हो गए तो उन्हें फेंक दो कहीं पे जो यूजुअली किया जाता था माई फोर्थ कमिंग प्रोजेक्ट जरा कपल ऑफ कपल ऑफ मैम आई थिंक मेरा माई न्यू सीजन पर यह है आशिक की स्टार्टिंग टमोरो ऑन बिंदास उसके अलावा देर आर लॉड ऑफ थिंग्स विच आर है टाइम विल चैल थैंक यू थैंक यू